And the only son. Um, well, no, I, there's like so many people. There's like five or six hundred people outside on the field. Well, that's why I wanted to go on the field. I, okay, okay, I can, can we move on? Rain, no. We move on? No, the side that I want it to rain all the time, can that one day rain? I don't want it. Or our soccer team. Watch, it's going to rain that day. No, I'm going to... Oh, it always sprinkles a little bit. And then it's going to go strong. Okay. Okay, then we're going to move on. Moving on. Moving on. Planning for winter holiday. Okay, so planning for the winter holiday. Uh, it's four to eight. Four to eight. Okay. Four to eight. Okay, okay. Like a four, five. Daylight savings is like two weeks. But they're changing it next year because they always do it the week after. Yeah, they're going to have to hold that. Hey, what? They cut up the week, I think. Yeah, October 13th or something. Yeah, we go back. Yeah, go back. Mm -hmm. So it's oh, going to be like earlier. Oh, 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 no, you know what? It's, no, it's uh, November 2nd. It's, it's after. after. Yeah. It's always oh. after. So we're going to Halloween. So we're going to have it. We're gonna, it's going to be nice and bright. Yeah. Well, yes. not even in the... No, it's it's right now 7.30 and yeah, it's already it's dark. dark. Oh, yeah, okay. Enough Halloween. No, that'll be good. You know, you know what? Yeah, later. Let, let me backtrack real quick. Yeah. You know what would be a really good idea since uh, we'll see when that, that organization helps us out with the bales of hay and the... Uh, Preserve us enough. Do you think there's any possible way um, you can contact them and ask them if they want to cook food? Yeah. I mean, they deserve it. I mean, um, if... Um, can you do banners? Like if I send you yeah. logos, like with yeah, it's too time. And then can we do the logos on the bottom of everybody who donated? Mm -hmm. just takes, it just takes some time just because publishing pieces right now because we asked for everything last minute. Okay. So give us a couple of minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so I'm going to put it right behind the bales of hay and attach it to the pop-up tent so that when they take pictures it's yeah. in the background. If, if you guys want to have like community rooms and stuff like that and more, more tables and canopies, that's fine too. I mean, make it as big as you guys think it should be for the kids. Because the point is, is like, other families are supposed to be important. Right? And we, yeah, and we need to really, really announce it so that people know that. Because really, we notice right here in Esereno, nobody, nobody stays here in Esereno. They go everywhere else but here. Nobody gets the only one in my car. Really? We give out candy, but they don't come to house. Look, I, 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 I do it too. And we have always the bucket of candy. I even get the kids to go out the door. I don't know. Do me a favor. I buy the good candy because we're going to bring it here. We're going to bring it here. Yeah, if you guys can think of like cool games that would attract people or ideas, shoot me an email and I'll try to. Okay. He's a good president. He's a really good president. Yeah, you do things like on task. Planning for winter holiday. Winter holiday, we actually started it. So I'm actually going to bring my candy here. So, so you're you're gonna get my candy. Oh, right. sorry! December, December, the original date, um, when, when, uh, before we started the meeting, I had, our last meeting, I announced that our winter holiday show at Breakfast in Town was going to be on Saturday, December 12th. However, that Saturday is actually the 13th. But, scratching that, we're actually moving the event to December 20th because the big organization, that it doesn't guarantee us toys, but there's a possibility of us getting toys. Um, Sparkle Love, they don't deliver until after the 15th of December. So. Is there any holidays in, or events in November for Thanksgiving? There actually is a, we don't do a holiday. I know some parks do like the turkey shoot or mm -hmm. stuff like that, but. Um, so many, so many events going on. Uh, it's not even that. It's just that I don't know who I would even talk to about getting turkey. Because I know the seniors get turkey. I know you guys give away turkey to the seniors, and I think that is just like tapped out. Because I'm asking for donations for Halloween. I'm asking for donations for Christmas, and I just feel like where else do I go? You know? Turkey, uh, turkeys are really hard to get. They've been cutting a lot of the grocery companies. Everything they're cutting back on the turkey. Yeah, and, and then too, if we did, um, let's say if we did do another community event, it would be three months in a row of like, you know, 3,000 plus 
dollars that would go to the I mean, and, and it's your community and, or our community and it's what the money is for that, but that's, you know, my thousand dollars in three months that I'd rather put to a free, a free program. There's, I don't know if that's getting up with me, so that's the reason for that. Um. I know, I, I know that in, in the past, I mean, all the councilmen, everyone, every councilman, every councilwoman, every, every everyone who, uh, who gives churches away, um, what was it, maybe seven, eight years ago? I mean, they had turkeys for basically everyone and anyone who asked for them. Now, I mean, uh, some of the local organizations are, are just barely giving maybe five, six. We're trying to get as many as we can. The thing is, like the convention center used to do a bunch, yes. but it changed vendors from. Yeah, it changed from Aramark to AG, I think, three years ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Aramark part of the contract was giving out lots of vendors. So Zanay's working on that. We're trying to get as many. Obviously, we're sure to use that. We literally can't get drugs. Really is there a uh, list? of the actual needy families out there? I mean, we usually do it based upon referrals. If people know people who really need it, you know, absolutely just send it to the Elster Notes, to the city here, you know? That way we know in advance. Because, I mean, there's, there's people that we've known that are just like, you know, totally out of the job, right? The main brother is out of the job and things like that. Like, literally $20 or $30 for a So... Right, so... Yes, it's uh, going to be December 20th, so please mark your calendars. We always uh, set up on the Friday before, and uh, that um, the day of the event will meet at 7 a.m. to start to be, uh, while staff is registering outside for the toys. Um, we have uh, Preserve El Sereno. They uh, take for the Marionettes. I know some of you guys have heard this already. They paid for the marionette show. It was uh, $350, and uh, they're going to come on at 1015. Yes, I'm uh, super ecstatic, uh, grateful. And, you know, they're bringing something that's it's novelty to the kids nowadays. The kids have no idea what it is. It's like you know, no marionettes are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm really excited to share it. Um, it's something that I loved as a child. We should also ask them if they want to go to a booth that day also. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Like boots. Well, I mean, think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. You know, yes. um, I, you know, and this is just a suggestion. I, I would really love to see as many of us as possible donate our time to a, to a, a Christmas event. Uh, my family and I have been helping uh, uh, the That's park for awesome. I, I think three years, and we have a good time. It's it, it's really really cool. It's the coolest thing to see a kid just like be as happy as he get, right? being out there just, there's just there's yeah, donating your time, volunteering, you know. And I actually work with Ricky for that, but he does But you know, I, it's cool. You spend a few hours doing that, just looking at all the kids, you know. You know, it's cool. So if you guys get the chance, if you guys can. Either on that Saturday, maybe the night before. That would be cool, you know. And it's just, it's really cool. I mean, we we ask for, you know, we say it's two dollars for adults and three for kids. And if a family comes up and they don't have the two dollars, we're not gonna be like, no, we can't have breakfast. Yeah. So I mean, we're giving them a meal, we're giving them a show. Uh, the cheerleaders perform. You know, we have some dancers that come and perform. And this year, the marionette show and Santa with toys. You know, the toy portion of it is not guaranteed. Uh, however, we will have like backup uh, candy canes, but in itself, the show that they're getting, I think, is going to be... You know, so rather than awesome. me trying to get like a softball people to donate, like back to all the eggs and everything that I brought, want me to have them donate toys and stuff? Let's do toys this year. Because I have, you know, we can get the, the eggs and stuff from the different um, restaurants and but the thing we will need for sure is to do it. We can tell them always, you know, like with the teens. Like right now with base, the way, I know it's going to be maybe the team, the, the, the toys going back to them, back to the community, but, you know, back to maybe the same kid, but have, have the parents have us with
good choice. Yes, that would be really good. You know, uh, uh, he met his food has been uh, helping, uh, helping in the park out with this event for what, three years? I think this is going to be the fourth year. And uh, the owner, founder, president, CEO of that company has never attended. As a matter of fact, I believe last year was the first time that they actually sent representatives. Of, I think it was his daughter in the news. And they came and they went back home and... Uh, the, the, the owner of the company called me up later on that evening and was like, man, man, they're excited to say it was beautiful. They said it was one of the best events they've ever, they've ever been to. So this year, he might actually show up himself. So, so that, that's, that's, that's nice, you know what I mean? It, I'm sorry? Uh, he meant his food? He meant his food. Oh, the... So he might actually be here himself this year and, uh and he, he basically already asked me. I know, he's personal. Me. You know? You know? <laughs> yeah. um, okay, so suggestions for, um, I've done pretty well with uh, the decorations of the table, like the centerpieces, but if you guys, if you, you know, probably you're definitely probably more creative than I am, but just little centerpieces. I uh, think last year we wrapped them off, we gave them tickets and we wrapped them off. Uh, I go to my 99 cent store and I buy, you know, just, Make mats to put on the table as long as it's an even amount. If you guys can think of things, or if you see things, I think I this is I need to keep my mind busy. This is depressed. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll ask you to start the game to that. I need to keep more occupied. It's okay. very crafty. Okay, that that works. How many tables are we coming? Ah, uh, gosh, we had twenty. It was three, four. Before last year, I think it was. And, we, and I think we're, we're actually like short table. Yeah, we need yes. short table. Like this size? Yes. Yeah. This will make it two per table? It was, it was two per table. Mm. Cause I remember it's definitely going to be on the center. And so, so I, I, and we're actually short, maybe about four to 60. We have people yeah, we, we definitely need tables. That event, I'm going to see, I don't know if you guys can get a table. Or if I can get an area service request for the other table, you see, sir? But even then, if there was not too much room for additional tables, right, Felix? Um, because you just don't oh, have enough space for the cooking? There's not too much room, but I think we can maybe put another table. No, floor you know what we're going to do is also, we're not going to, I don't know if you remember we had tables as a barrier. Mm -hmm. I'm having Stanford design, you know those poles you see at the bank? I don't know what they're called, mm -hmm. but they're the, the line. Um, I'm having Stanford design them, and he's like, I'm going to paint them like a candy cane. So he's going to make them, he's going to design, design them, and then that's going to be the area that we rope off for, you know, the Christmas tree and the marionette show. Uh, and that'll free up, I think we use four tables okay. to do that. And, and it'll look so much nicer. <laughs> Just having it'll give us more room also. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So, um... Yeah, so if you guys can just put your thoughts in, maybe if you're at a, a 99 cent store, or so we're going to have the poles and then we're going to need the chains? Uh, we're going to make either make them out of like, if not fabric, some, you know, something. What about PVC? Yeah, um, uh, Stanford's kind of handling it. Okay. But if you guys can take pictures of, um, like at the Dollar Tree or 99 cent store, if you see something that's cute that you think might work for centerpieces, take pictures and email them to me. Um, so I can start compiling my views of what we're going to do. Because usually it's a one shopping trip at the 99 cent store and I get everything. You know, uh, I know we were talking about this earlier. Uh, the toys is usually our, our main thing. And I, I know Jennifer did mention earlier that it's not guaranteed. Mm -hmm. But uh, the, the, I think the saddest thing would be watching Little Boy Little Girl. You know, not, not you go walk away without a toy and just get the candy cane and see everyone else got a toy. What, what I did, uh, I think it was maybe two years ago. Uh, I contacted a bunch of people from, from my Facebook, and it was mainly family, like really, really good friends. And some of them gave me two toys, three toys, you know, and, and it adds up, you know what I mean? So if you give me five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Well, more or less, how many children in that hand? Last year you said it was like 600, right? Mm -hmm. You had like 600. Yeah, we had I know all of those six hundred, but it was a lot. But I have, I actually have one for the I actually have the list um, broken down by age group too. Sorry, I don't have the phone number, but if someone wants to do that. Is it, how, yeah. how much uh, food did they uh, leave on me for my team? Um, I don't know. 
gosh, you gave us a whole box of eggs plus some like individual cartons, and then you um. I know, I know I brought a bunch of stuff. So that's what I'm saying. If I tell them that we want toys instead of food. Eggs, bread, butter. Um, but I know you, yeah, eggs, bread, and butter. Okay, because I remember it was like two trips that I took, right? It was a huge, well, you gave us that big box. I don't remember too much. And then you, gave, then you gave us the individual cartons. It's on your thank you letter, exactly what you <laughs> <laughs> No, that's what I'm saying, because I know um, because it's, we can get them to donate toys. So I'm trying to get, get a number, because if, like, if, uh, uh, if you could get the food from the restaurant, then we can uh, focus on toys. Yeah. yeah, we haven't been short of food, mm -hmm. which is a good thing. And actually, there's uh, extra that we've given, you know, given to family. So, um, infant boys, we had registered five. Uh, Boys ages 3 to 5, we had 13. Boys ages 6 to 9, we had 34. Uh, boys 10 to 12, we had 26. Uh, girls, uh, infant girls under 2, we had 9. Um, and then when we called up, there was kids that hadn't registered. So we could add like 8. Is there a way that you could uh, have uh, me in that list? Or yeah. Or yeah. I I uh, again, because I, I, I you want to show me the numbers. No, no, just, just the numbers. Okay, give me the number. No, just say, keep on saying that, okay. and I have them here. Oh. Uh, girls three to five was fourteen. Girls six to nine was twenty-five. And then uh, girls ten to twelve was twenty. That was the hardest group. It was the hardest because we had baby toys, and we ended up giving plush on animals and stuff like that, but like this group, like little lip glosses, nail polish, I mean things for 10 to 12 year olds. Okay. So that was 10 to 12? Mm -hmm. So that was it. How many? The boys? You want me to do this? Uh, okay, so infant boys under 2, 5. Uh, boys 3 to 5 was 13. Uh, girls 6 to 9 was 34. I'm sorry. Boys. Boys. Oh, boys. 69, 34. Those are the early ones only. Well, and it was, yeah, we, we, added, we added a few. We added a few. There was a few. Every single age group, there was a few kids who had it registered. Um, and then <coughs> 10 to 12 was uh, 26. Okay. Well, I was Everybody got I know the councilman came through. He uh, he gave us uh, he was a, a lot of toys and, and then uh, we, we had uh, a few bags also of toys and mm -hmm. other donations. So, you know, still. Yeah, we weren't short on food, so I think we're good. Uh, if we can do toys, that would be good because again, they're not guaranteed. I do put that on the flyer. You're getting a free breakfast and you're getting a show, but kids are kids and they want to. I could probably for sure. It's only 147. Plus the ones that didn't register. Let's go about 200. Mm -hmm. more, okay. more or less. Mm -hmm. I, I think, based on what you're telling me on the food, I could convert that to about 100 toys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and the, the biggest group is 6 to 9 and 10 to 12. Yeah, so pretty much. Yeah, there is no older than the other one. So we yeah, have you got almost there. Yeah, we need to focus on the 6 to 9 and 10 to 12. And we need to focus on the 6 to 9 and 10 to 12. And we need to focus on the 6 to 9 and 10 to 12. And we need to focus on the 6 to 9 and 10 to 12. Three to five, uh, the thirteen and fourteen. Yeah. Six to nineteen, thirty-four, twenty-five, ten to twelve, twenty-six, and twenty-one. Okay. If, if you want to do that, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Can we move on? Yes. Okay. Our new business. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 Yeah.
is not here. So, <laughs> is it fair to say that Molino is not here? Yes. Is your wife from here trying to get that info? I, I, think I think I got she it. got it already. Okay. And, and um. And I, I should have just. You know, I, I didn't mean to sound rude. I just wanted to make a point that Molina's office is not here. here. Um, and just so you guys know, <laughs> they they weren't aware they had to be. Sorry, but I didn't contact them. Okay. Can't see that. Can I push that? So now, now it's. So we're gonna push that to the next meeting. Um, no, he has a report. He can give us a report. Yeah, we yeah. can do the same thing here. I can do a report. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want that, I can, I can, I can no, just sit here and start the report. Don't bring them up. No, no, no. <laughs> um, so, what's going on? Obviously, you all know um, about the project going on here. Um, right now, they're in the process of looking at some environmental documents uh, regarding the uh, building over here, just making sure everything is safe. Uh, and ready to go on that. Um, we should know more information about that in about a month or so. Um, they told me it's September or October. Um, regarding to the city also, also we pushed for a grant application to the county for uh, $200,000 in Proposition 8 funds uh, for this park. So it was approved by council yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Yeah. So we're just waiting to hear back. So this is just the application was approved. Yeah, but, but no. that's yeah we don't have control over the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the county that has control. But um, we're trying to get as many dollars as possible for for the site. Um, you know, Rec and Parks has been working on what you guys drafted up. Um, but if you have more information specifically from the survey, I don't know if that included some you know public improvements. That'd be really good to know so we can incorporate that stuff as well. If you all feel that's relevant information. So that's what's going on um, with that. So we should have more information in the next month or so from, um, from the environment. Do you know, and I'm sorry, maybe I should have you ask this, but do you know if they're going to come to us again? Um, Absolutely. Yeah, no, nothing's going to be done with that. Community, but we just need to wait on the environmental plans um, and all that because obviously there was, or is, no, there was asbestos in the building. When they did the abatement, so they have to look at a bunch of what do you call it, like, environmental documents essentially before that we can proceed with any, any projects. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I'm not sure if it's the time to bring it up, but being that it's part of our whole demo and projects, um, I came across this uh, organization pretty much with the Major League Baseball. And this particular, I guess, organization with the Major League Baseball. Um, helps the cities and parks uh, with anything that has to do with baseball. RBI? Uh, or is it Dodgers? No, it's, uh, no, it's uh, MLB uh, Organization.org. Mm -hmm. uh, so pretty much, we shoot them a grant as an organization or as a Sereno Park, and they either send the funds or they come and do it themselves. So mm -hmm. being that we're looking to get baseball field, I mean, uh, the batting okay, cages and you. everything. So if that's going to get done, and if we could get that on top of that during the same time, I don't know if something that we could you know, get you guys to help out. Absolutely. You know, absolutely. So I can forward that information to you. Yeah, guys. absolutely. You want to make sure the place is great. Yeah. Yeah, especially, I mean, if, if and because that's going to be on the big one that, still, you know, We could use those funds that were originally going to be for the cages if we get that grant from them and that can be added to the soccer or yeah. anything else. You know, it's, just, it's just maximizing the dollar pretty much. Yeah, no, absolutely. And we're still like, honestly, just because we got some money doesn't mean we're stopping with this money. Right. Because there's so many things you can do. I mean, hell, if we had ten million dollars, I'm sure we'd all totally redesign the whole place and do all the Jennifer with two gems. <laughs> Jennifer two floors, each building. Good letter near anywhere near the, the money. <laughs> um, but in all seriousness, we're looking at other ones uh, or other improvements to make sure that we consistently have funding uh, coming from the same. Because there's a lot of things that need to be done, and it really, uh, like you guys all know, this is the center of the um, This is where Yeah, I thought that it was good because obviously it's just not for, like, say, this part. It's any other part. So anything that has to do with baseball, this organization pretty much like, gives a lot of money from what I've uh, looked into. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. You know, if you don't mind, um, 
last month's meeting, we had, um, oh man, I, I want to say around 15 uh, kids that came in here. And, um, the majority of them were kids, but they all were uh, so, some of our local soccer players. Uh, and I think I spoke to uh, both of you gentlemen in regards to the football. Uh, yeah, the football and the okay. tennis courts. Yeah. So basically, on, on Mondays and Fridays, they've actually turned the tennis courts into uh, uh, a food cell. They came in here, well organized. They, 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 had, they backed each other up. They came up here, they spoke, and you know, uh, someone works with kids, like part of these kids, you know what I mean? And how can you get a group of kids to come in here and, and you, know, you know, ask, you know, 99 for ask. They, what would they, their main concern was that they were afraid they were going to be left out of this project. You know, they, 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 uh, they heard stories, they heard rumors, and their main concern was, hey, listen, we've actually turned the tennis courts into our, our, our Monday and Friday thing. And why isn't there any talks about soccer? I don't know. You know what? We've actually talked about soccer. We've actually talked about maybe doing a, a field park here or maybe fixing our guardia. Their main concern was that they are afraid that they're going to end up breaking a leg or being at the wrong place at the wrong time and not having any help. You know, so I, 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 if I'm not mistaken, I think one of the kids said that he wanted, they wanted, they wanted to know why they were being pushed away farther from their park director than any other sport. And they have nothing for soccer here. That's how the Pusa thing came out. So their, their thing is, if we could get a Pusa here for them, that'd be great. So I, I know um, uh, nothing, nothing's being started, nothing's being yeah. done. There hasn't been any work done. Uh, but, you know, maybe when uh, the, the, uh, the, the people in charge of, you know, uh, um, saying this is where they should be and you know plans and all that you know we, we should really consider these kids and, and putting some, something out there for them because if you come out here on Mondays and Fridays you're going to have about 50 kids out there and uh, uh, I don't know if you've gone back there already uh, on Mondays and Fridays when you're back there there's 50 kids out there and, and 50 kids is 50 kids that we have back here who aren't gang banging who aren't uh, you know, messing up somewhere else, or you know, they're here at the park where they belong, yeah. and that's the reason we have to work the park. You know, just just throwing that out there. Yeah, let me get. Yeah, out. absolutely. What I'll do is I'll. I'm already talking to the parks about it, uh, the planning group, but having them look at the cost for it, how that type of thing would be. I mean, obviously, and I don't think it is, but the futsal field was three hundred thousand dollars, and that eats up the majority of your money, right? To think, okay, fire anyways. But if it's not a ton of money. And you know, is it going to destroy everything else you guys want to do? I think absolutely. Can you I, I was told, oh, sorry. Can you I was told that it's just literally. I spoke to some colleagues and stuff like that. That literally is. It's just like a, a tennis court or like a black top court, and all it would require would be like the netting and like. Which um, which uh, location? Like the Reckon Parks? We no, I was talking to my to my colleagues. The Reckon Parks. I have it. They have the netting. Like they have the netting. Yeah. Like yeah. You can play it just. Um, yeah. I mean, if that's what you guys as a center want, and you're assuming as a path, you want for the center, you know, it really comes down to that. And are, are, you, are you familiar with, with uh, Glassall Park? Yeah. You know the little field they have in the back? Yes. Food suck is nothing like that. That costs money due to the fact that, that it uh, has a... Um, uh, artificial grass. Oh, yeah, that's right. synthetic field. Yeah, exactly. synthetic field. It's nothing like that. All it is, like Jennifer just mentioned, just imagine a basketball court or a tennis court, and you don't need special grass or really nothing. All you need to do is just get them the piece of land, the cement. The cement's already there. All you have to do is just paint the soccer field. Like that's all you have to do. These kids, I, I mean, they, some of them even said, if if they're willing to do it, we'll come out here and we'll paint the field and we'll donate the paint. <laughs> I'll donate the paint. That's called violating child labor laws. <laughs> I, mean, I, said, I'll, 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 I don't want to see a bunch of kids like painting. Yeah, it's so proper. It's all the humor. It's all the humor. What are you talking about? Um, but no, in all seriousness, we'll look at it. And Thank you. hopefully, as soon as, literally as soon as I get information from the environmental group on what's going on, I will let you guys know. Um, and I will let Jennifer know so you guys can yeah, and I'll let you guys know. Can we move on? Moving on? Yes. Moving on, um, skate park updates. You're going to ask me 
that's been put out on the agenda. The only thing I have is that we have outstanding job orders for the repair of screws and damage. Okay, okay. Um, Councilman's office is here. I have a question. <laughs> Has your park got a new skate park? And they could park that uh, they got something nice and they're all gonna stand it. What happened to us? Have they already done the improvements there? No. no, they have not. Okay, because those things are in the works. Let me talk to Craig. Yes. Uh, are there certain things that I should know about to ask them about? Well, the, the, the main concern with the, uh, the, the, the skaters is the screws keep coming loose. Number one. Number two, it's outdated. It's made out of wood, and they don't know why they don't have concrete like all the other parts. I was going to say that in the winter, it gets wet, and it gets it it hot. Yeah. Uh -huh. in the, yeah, in the winter, they have to have that eight when it gets cold at a certain time. In the summer, they burn up too, right? But in the winter, it's dangerous. Is it asphalt? Oh, it's, no, it's raster. I don't know what it is, but... It's, it's, it's fiberglass. It's fiberglass. Fiber fiber oh, it's fiberglass. Yeah. 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 And I have to try very hard. Let me talk to, let me talk to Craig Rains, the guy at Brighton Park. Skater. Make it not wear material. It is, right? Isn't it hilarious? No, it gives me faith for people in this department, and every, in the city who were there. Who know what they're talking about, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't see that no I think the diamond guy told you about it. Yeah, it was all diamonds. Yeah, it was all diamonds. Then that diary goes to the diamond. I have no idea. There's a collaboration between both of them, Jerry and the diamond, right? Yeah. Because when you say it, I don't know, nobody knows where it is. Well, we're working on that. You guys are great. That's the scary part. I'm going to have to write a book. From my understanding, the from, from my understanding, the reason they got chosen was because it, uh, it was a contract with that company was going to uh, build one skate park per district, and the only park in this area that didn't have a skate park was Hazard Park, so they chose Hazard Park. I think the first one was, if I'm not mistaken, was maybe a. Uh, uh, the, the one right off uh, Fourth Street, I believe. Oh, I think it was Hollandbeck. Yeah. And, and then, and then uh, you know, C14 was lucky enough to get a second skate park, but they built it at Hazard because they didn't have a skate park. They should have given their arts a skate park because they can Yeah, Lincoln Park is a couple blocks away. Lincoln Park is a couple blocks away. It's fiberglass that's like what the TV is made of. Let me look at it. Yeah, yeah, a bit, uh, you know, it's a like a combination of the way you can back from the time. Send those over to us. Yeah, because there was a little bit of wind out there recently, like, with the cold weather. Actually, earlier today, um, it was, again, the screws, and apparently there's a big chunk missing in the middle of that. Okay, yeah. So, the screws were early on. I think you were telling me, you're yeah. the one that locked me up there. The screws the, the the actually started coming off, I, I want to say, within maybe the first two weeks. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, that, that's... It's because that material doesn't hold screws. You know, the, the, the thing yeah. is that we, we can't we can't bring the skaters or the, or the guys on the bikes out there, on the, the BMXers using the skate park. We really can't. It's just that the, the, the skate park is outdated. What we need is concrete. That's what the kids want. Yeah, I mean, you're seeing the skate park. That's what the kids want. Now they're turning all of the parts uh, into concrete because they have the same issues that we're having here, you know, with the screws, with everything. Well, they just I mean, put 10 grand. Uh, 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 let me talk to Craig. How about uh, if they do concrete and they move it to this side? So that we're watching the kids right in front when we're playing baseball, we're watching what they're doing. There you go. Are they moving away from the 
Are they moving away from really? the area so they can smoke out of the... A lot of them think it's going to put in the like, No, 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 you know, but it, 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 should be, it used to be on that side in front of none of the parking. You know, all the cars. It happens. I go to all the parks. It's used to be on that everywhere. Yeah. And I, it's a I just get, thing. during basketball, I get it a lot because our teams are practicing there. And they're yeah. gone from the noon and I'm like, guys, so we'll take we'll take a look at that. Jennifer will get us job order issues, and we'll connect with all the maintenance people. Um, and then, yeah. And then for the bigger, I'll talk to Craig about sort of how we can make it safer and all that kind of stuff. What he recommends. He's probably he's probably the same kind of person. Yeah, but he'll know how to do it. Okay. The guy who builds all the concrete <laughs> skate parks in the city. He's nice. So he's he's really good at working. Um, and then. Yeah. Good. Thank you, gentlemen. Um, future, uh, moving on. Future agenda items. And they charge 